Hi guys, Dorota Palitska, International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to play with some, I don't want to say winter yet, but kind of autumn wintery season uh, nails. You can have a wee preview of it in here. Yeah, I hope you will really enjoy watching this tutorial and you will learn quite a lot from it. If you're new in here, hit the subscribe button as there is lots of, lots of tutorials coming up every Monday, Wednesdays and Saturday. Let's start! Yeah, wintery, autumny season started, so it's a time for the jumpers, and that's a kind of must-have design. So we are going to actually start with this one, which is 153, and I will show you some nice jumpers. So apply it it on the entire tip. And then give it a cure. Then on this one, we are going to do the blue lips, 154. Cameraman says it's a really nice color. Yeah, I think I will be using it a lot for the winter as well. See, for those jumper effects, I quite like those pastel -y colors. I think they are just perfect for it. Because uh, uh, you want to use some, and then cozy time 168, because we want to use some sugar, um, either sugar or acrylic, clear acrylic powder on top of it. Yeah, that's quite nice as well for autumn. Actually, really nice for autumn. And then, gosh, I've got Dilemma. Because so I've got, actually, I'm going to do it five maybe designs. No, five, no, three, maybe three. Let's do three first and then I'll see how we get on. Okay, so Jade. And straight away, I'm going to put this color on my mixing palette as well. Blue lips. No, that's the jade. Blue lips. And then again, straight away on my mixing palette. And cozy time. And then give it a cure on my mixing palette. Now, all the idea about it is that we need to have some lighter color in order to make it more visible. So I'm going to add a drop of uh, paint on French gel into each of those colors. Okay. And I don't want to paint with these colors on its own. Um, on top of the top coat just because they are not going might not last as well but the paint on French gel is going to last amazing on its own and also it's easier because the consistency is better like it's more pigmented as well Okay, so my next step is to paint some line work underneath. Mm. 
really thin. Is the camera catching it? Good. Okay, do those lines first and then cook it. Okay, another row of the lines, opposite way. and then cook it. Obviously the slower you will do it, the nicer results you will get. I'm kind of rushing it a bit. <laughs> Well, only because it is a background. The less pressure you give, the slimmer lines you get. The stronger you press, the thicker the lines. Okay, part two. So part two, we are going to apply the top coat because the next part of the design is going to be those kind of 3D. So I'm just putting a top coat over it.
and it has to be top coat with no inhibition layer because if you have a top coat with the inhibition layer the mm, sugar ink would stick into that and you, you really don't want that okay so you need to put um, no white top coat or you could put like a um, matte top coat as well uh, that will look pretty good with the matte top coat too okay the next part for the design is the soaking part okay so we are going to use this color to do a couple lines on the top I don't want them too thin. Like make sure you put plenty product on. Okay, and then we are going to do the jumper lines. Again, thicker than the ones on the bottom. Actually, it's a fun creating those all, all those jumper effect meals. Okay, then dotting tool. And same on the other side. They look quite compli complicated uh, until you break them down into the simple shapes. Once you know what the simple shapes are, then they are much easier to do. I will do a different design on each uh, needle just to give you more ideas. Okay, so we have painted. This looks actually super cool. Now we've got two options. Uh, what we could do is we could sprinkle with the acrylic powder and clear, but I also love the sugar. And I'm actually going to do it with the sugar. So we are going to use the sugar. So I didn't cure it yet and on the wet product I'm applying the sugar and that was good choice. That was very good choice. Sprinkle, remove the excess. It looks messy now but we have to cure it and once we cure it I will be able to show you the design. Okay next one. 
So on this one, I'm going to paint slightly different design. I mean, we, we still going to do this top part. So it almost looks like a sock. <laughs> and I've got those socks as well, like we was getting them for the photo shoots. Okay, so those lines, slightly longer, just so it goes more with the previous one. And then another design. So this time I'm going to paint it like a more of a round, uh, rounded shape ish. And again, make them a bit thicker, just so they look like a wheel. Wheel line. And a couple dots. Okay, and then once you're happy with this one, I'm actually going to touch up the top. We can sprinkle it. With the sugar. Jumper sweater nails like as a must have, you know, you, you need to know how to do them. <laughs> and then we are going to go with the next one. So again, nice and thick lines.
and now we are going to go very small This one is really time consuming, but I think it looks super pretty. Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. I have also done some ombre jumpers as well for the clients in the past. Uh, if you would like to see how to do the ombre, I can do tutorials on that too. As I say, jumpers are very popular in a salon. So basically what I'm doing is like I'm almost painting a dot, but then I drag it, so it's like a very short line. And the last row. Okay, so this one is very more time consuming, but I like it like because it has the small small plate. <laughs> Sprinkle with the sugar. And now curing. So sugar, I like to double cure it. So you can cure it like even two minutes in a lily light, then there is no chance of it to come off. But 60 seconds is enough as well. I just like to give it those double cure. Okay, we are going to clean the mess and then I can show you them. So the first one should be ready. And that was this one. I'm taking a brush and I'm removing the dust. Okay, just remove the excess of the pigment and then that's the first jumper ready really nice like really really nice and it does looks like a jumper uh, beautiful I really love it I might actually do it in here so we've got one then the second one is cooked as well, so remove the dust. And you can see it, the glitter didn't stick into the shiny soup. Oh, this one is so pretty too. I actually love them all. I think they are super cool. And they will look cool on the nails too, like on the hand. You know, really nice all blue set, ring finger with the jumper and, and your client is happy. <laughs> I think I fancy some jumper nails as well. And this one is cooked too. So clean the excess of the glitter and you can see it, how pretty this one is too. So that's what we have created today. Another jumper ideas for you. And I'm sending you, oh, that's pretty. I don't know, like from color wise, I think I love this one. Uh, yeah, but this one is quite nice too. Anyway, I'm sending you lots of glittery hacks and bye for now.